One great thing about Venice is wonderful art. If you think about art in Europe, remember, you got to have money to have art. Uh, in southern Italy, there was not a lot of money, and there's not a lot of art today. The money was in Venice. The money was in Florence, and that's where your art is 500 years later. I like art in situ rather than in museums. In situ, where it was originally commissioned to be. And Venice has one of the greatest examples of in situ art, and that is the Church of the Ferrari, the Church of the Brothers. This is the exterior, not a very impressive exterior, but if you step inside, you got masterpieces by Giorgione, by Titian, and by a handful of other great masters of the Venetian Renaissance. To see one great painting in situ by a great master, to me, is just a delight. To go to a church where you have eight paintings by eight different masters, all where they're originally intended to be, is flat out amazing. I like it so much that one of the, one of the uh, actual tours on my Rick Steves Audio Europe uh, list is of the Ferrari, just so I can walk you through that and appreciate that. If you like Venetian art, remember there is a gallery, it's sort of like the Uffizi or like the Vatican, and it in Venice is called the Academia, and there you've got a, just a whole lot of very sumptuous Venetian art. The Renaissance started in Florence, it was brought down to Rome by the Pope, in 1520, when Raphael died, the Renaissance carries on in Venice, funded by the rich merchant class. In Venice, it became the art of wealthy people. And it was art that made wealthy people feel good about their wealth. You can imagine, if somebody's filthy rich, they want to have an artist that makes them feel cultured and high class, not crass and materialistic. And I think you get that kind of agenda in the art of Venice.